My name is Amara Gibbons-Ross. I'm affiliated with the University of Pennsylvania in a clinical capacity as a glaucoma specialist and a neuro-ophthalmologist. In a basic science capacity, I am a basic science researcher and have a lab at the university. And I'm Sunita Radhakrishnan. I'm a glaucoma specialist and a clinical researcher at the Glaucoma Center of San Francisco. So the topic of the session is non-IOP lowering treatments for glaucoma. Um, and the basic gist is to present to uh, Glaucoma 360 the multiple different ways that are in the pipeline to treat glaucoma that's not related to treating the intraocular pressure. In glaucoma, the classic and standard of care is to lower the intraocular pressure, but we know that this particular risk factor does not necessarily address the neurodegenerative nature of the disease. And so our topic was a particularly good one because it brought to light many different treatments that are in the pipeline for later use. So glaucoma is a condition in which you get um, ganglion cell loss and nerve fiber layer um, loss. So there is cell death basically. So for um, neuroregenerative therapies to work, you not only have to have the nerve cell implant where it needs to be, but it also has to make all the right connections all the way from the eye to the back into the brain. And that's quite challenging. I think the main takeaways is that although non-IOP lowering medications to treat glaucoma seems like this pie in the sky idea and certainly 10 years ago it certainly may have seemed that way. We saw a lot of different products to tackle the front of the eye, by fibrosis to the back of the eye, to, to um, neuroenhance, neuroprotect and neuroregenerate. Those treatments are in the pipeline. They're, they are very well in the pipeline for potential therapeutic use. And this is huge, this is revolutionary. Glaucoma has been treated the same exact way for over a hundred years, which is lowering the pressure. And as clinicians, we know that that's not addressing the disease process. These particular presentations that we saw presented are moving towards changing that paradigm of treatment for glaucoma, which I think is really exciting. Um, so right now, the only way we can treat glaucoma is by lowering uh, patients' intraocular pressures, but we know that that's not enough for many patients. There is disease progression despite IOP lowering. So we want um, you know, therapies that can protect the optic nerve in addition to IOP lowering. So that's one area where these therapies might help. And the second is you might be able to um, help patients who have lost vision from glaucoma, this potential for neuroregeneration. Um, so far we have not been able to offer any treatment for people who have lost vision, we cannot restore it, but some of these therapies um, bring that into the possibility, realm of possibility. So it's hard to predict um, when it will come, but I can say that in the last five years I think there's been so much progress made you know, compared to say 15 or 20 years ago where there was nothing for a long time and then suddenly in the last few years we have an explosion um, of research. We're talking about, you know, vision restoration as a possibility, which was just not the case, yeah. you know, like a decades ago. Yeah. yeah. I would also add, uh, when patients ask me this question, and we do get this from patients, I always say, yeah, it would be great for it. To, if I could give it to you tomorrow, I would. But as a clinician, I have to protect your safety. Mm -hmm. and. I'll answer it exactly how I answer my three-year-old when he says, Mommy, are we there yet? Mm -hmm. We'll get there when we get there, and it'll be the right time when we do. We want it to make sure it's safe, we want to make sure it works, and we want to make sure that, that we know what patient population is going to be most effective, and then that takes time. What I love about New Horizons Forum is that it brings all parties that are interested in glaucoma together in one room. We have clinicians, researchers, industry, venture capitalists, everybody you can think of, they're all focused on glaucoma treatment strategies and I think there's no other place that that happens. Okay.